Hey everybody, this is Sebastian from Spark. I am so happy with the feedback from our first video, I decided to share another one. So this lesson is called Mood Boxes, and this is a free resource for parents and children during this time. Uh, a great lesson using watercolors, crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever your coloring uh, instrument of choice is, that's what you can use for this. So I'm going to walk you through how we do mood boxes, how we create them, what they're designed, the intention is to express our emotions, good, bad, angry, the whole gamut. And so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Mood boxes are really a container for emotions. And I came up with this lesson to allow children, allow uh, artists to get out emotions that we might be feeling. And so what we're gonna start with first is creating our container. Uh, two choices, you can, artist choice, you can choose a brain or you can choose a heart. Uh, for the sake of the lesson, I'm gonna choose a heart. Uh, but feel free to choose a shape of your own. But our usual choices are a heart or a brain. So I'm gonna choose a heart. I'm gonna draw it relatively medium size so it could fit, fits in the camera for the sake of the lesson. Once you've drawn your heart, now you can make this bigger as well. You can fill up your whole paper likewise, right? If you're drawing a brain, it could be a big brain that fills up the whole section of your paper. And what we're gonna do now is using a ruler, or freehanding it, artist choice again, I'm going to divide my heart into pieces. The lines can be straight, they can be diagonal. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide up our heart so we can create the all the different types of emotions. So we can create the different types of emotions that we're gonna paint in here. Our answers are going to be painted. I'll ask you a series of questions and you will just follow along and paint the answers. It's pretty intuitive. Everyone's answers might be different. We might have some that are the same. And when I say answers, we're really talking about colors, right? How, how do we see ourselves in color? What choices would we make when given a choice of what color to make or choose? So, I've divided my heart up into a series of, they kind of look like triangles, which is, you know, yours might be squares, yours, yours could be a grid. You can, like I said, you can also freehand it. Maybe I take my pencil here and I add a few curves at the end, just to throw in a different, different kind of perspective. Now that you've done your shape and you've divided it, you're ready to paint. Who's ready to paint? So if you're choosing to paint, watercolors are great. If you're choosing to crayon, marker, colored pencil, that's great too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by asking you a question and you're gonna paint the answer. You can paint the answer in any section you want. So first question is, what color makes you happy? What color makes you happy? I just want you to go ahead and pick that color. You might say it out loud just to think about it. Mine is gonna be this bright yellow. So I'm going to paint that shape bright yellow. That's my first, first shape painted in. One with a really bright, like, sunshine yellow. Okay. Next question is, what color makes you sad? What color makes you sad? Now, this might be an obvious one for a lot of us. Most of the times when you think of sadness, you think of blue. So I am actually going to choose a blue as well. Wash off my brush and we ask, jump to the next question. So now I've got yellow and I've got blue. What color makes you angry? Ooh, what color makes you angry, girl? You might think. And most of us might land on red. If you have a different color for anger, that's fine too. So you're going to choose that shape and you're going to add your red. You can choose different color reds for different questions so keep that in mind so whatever color you red you're picking right now you might be able to answer red and mix or blend a different shade of red there we go there's our red okay so as it turns out the first three questions are happy sad and angry and they actually end up being the primary color so that kind of works out based on if the colors i chose 
Now I'm going to ask you trickier questions like, okay, what color makes, what color is silly to you? What color is silly? See, I told you they're going to change a little bit. So what, what does silly mean to you? For me, I'm going to kind of make a pattern in one of my boxes, one of my shapes, just to show you that it doesn't have to always be a solid color. Emotions aren't only just one thing. They can be lots of things. They can be have lots of feelings wrapped up with them. So I'm going to I'm going to add a few kind of silly designs in that box just to show you you can make your silly be a pattern or it could just be random, right? Like that looks that box looks a lot sillier than the yellow one and the uh blue and the red one so just continuing along maybe i'm just adding more silliness to it right so there is my there is my silly box now i'm gonna ask the next question let's switch gears so if you're taking your time to go uh, along with me we've started with happy sad angry and silly okay the next question i'm gonna ask is what color makes you feel calm what color makes you feel calm I know, that's so relaxing. Now, I'm going to choose a blue. You noticed I'm choosing blue again, but this time it's like a very light blue. It's like a sky blue. It's so relaxing. It looks like clouds are floating there. So that's why I'm picking this light blue for my calm. Your calm might be a different color. And again, that's okay. Let's change it up again. What color? Let's, you know... Considering what's happening, what color makes you feel nervous or anxious? What color makes you feel nervous or anxious? That's something we all feel at times. I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick like, I'm gonna pick a green. It's gonna be my nervous, a little uneasy, feeling a little nervous about something. I feel a little green. So I'm going with green and I'm blending the green. So I have a light green on the top and a darker green on the bottom, but I'm doing, now I'm going to blend them. And with watercolors, you know, blending is something you can easily do by just adding water if you want it to lighten. And less water gives you a darker color. So there's my, there's my heart so far. It's starting to fill up. Now, as you go through this lesson, I want you to keep this in mind. You can ask yourself different questions, but I've started with just five basic questions. But what you can do is continue to ask, your, ask yourself questions or do this with a friend. What color makes you think of nature? So you can change the questions. You can change the questions. So for, for this one, I'm actually going to show you another trick. I'm going to combine two colors. So I just asked, what color makes you think of nature? And I'm going to put green on the bottom. What do you think I'm going to put on the, on the top? Yeah, I probably guessed it. I'm going to put, I'm going to wash my brush. I'm going to pick blue for the sky. Except I'm going to pick a different blue this time. So it's like a sky blue. So there's my question to what makes you think of nature? I think of green and blue, right? And maybe if that dries... After that dries, I might add a little like brown in there for maybe like trees. And so I'm going to ask a series of questions and you're going to keep painting them. So what color makes you think of nature? What color makes you think of being dizzy? What color makes you think of flying? What color makes you think of heat or being hot? What color makes you sleepy? What color makes you creative? What colors make you creative? You know what? That's a good one. What colors make you creative? Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed doing your mood boxes with me. The rest of your answers might be questions like dizzy, sleepy, nervous, frustrated. So many questions we can ask ourselves and you can paint in those answers but the end result will be a beautiful piece of art that captures all our emotions. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you stay positive, stay creating, and I'll see you next time on Spark TV.